back of the LED unit. Heat sink. Thermal grease. Thermal grease on the back of the LED unit, which I shall now spread. Right, computer fan working, as you can hear. And on the other side, the lamp is very definitely on. You can see there the uh, heat sink behind it with the gunk holding it together, or rather transferring the heat, hopefully, from the lamp to the heat sink. So we'll do that as the first test. So we've got the condenser housing on there now. Safety shut is down of course, so let's move that up. And actually, that light spread is pretty good. I'm going to say it's good enough. So now I'll just do a heat test on the whole setup just to see whether we have any problems now that we've got the, uh, the condenser housing on there. It has got quite a lot of holes in it for ventilation. Let's see what they look like with the lights out. Yeah, that's fine. That won't spill over onto the screen as I find it up. Well, it's been running for a few minutes now, and I'm going to say experiment concluded. It's vaguely warm, but no more than that. That little fan is very noisy. Doesn't matter. We're showing silent movies with this. So. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we shall carry on now. We'll keep the mechanism in that position on the board and uh, now's the time to connect the motor with the leather belt to the driving wheel. Next job. Right, well the leather belt is threaded up onto the motor. Temporary connection of the transformer with the speed controller fitted before the 240 volts goes into the transformer but it won't take it down to zero so as soon as I switch that transformer on the motor is going to go not quite sure which way around doesn't really matter at this stage as long as we remember let's have a look Maybe running, I don't know, 8 frames a second, 10, maybe. Let's take the speed up a little bit. That's probably running speed. It's vibrating somewhat. It's staying on there. It seems to be giving a consistent drive. Might need some stabilizer rollers for that belt, I think. Reduce the risk of it coming off the uh, drive on there. Okay. 
okay, well the motor will eventually have the weight of this take up with this film spool on, which is going to make a difference. But certainly there's scope for increasing the speed. Well that's only a very short test but it's good enough for me to proceed now I think with everything else. Testing the take up belt now. There's a bit of torque on there, although it's a very slow to start, but it might do the job. Another interesting thing I hadn't realised, if we put the speed on. Pretty sure it was actually going backwards in the previous test. I reversed the polarity of the motor. See what happens now. Mm-hmm. 